of drama you know with this particular footage at the side here remember when of course Catherine, William, Meghan and Harry united together to look at those floral tributes of our late and wonderful monarch Queen Elizabeth II. Well it was interesting because a lot of people felt that this was the sort of first time the thawing of the ice as they say you know it was the first time we'd seen them all together for many a month and of course a lot of people felt that this could be the path to reconciliation. What I found out though and as ever we have to say allegedly is there was a simply a little bit more to it than first meets the eye. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here. Nice to see you. Hope you're all keeping well. Oh, it's a bracing one today. I hope you're still enjoying your Christmas. By the way, I wanted to know, for the more traditionalists of us, when do you take your Christmas tree down? After the 12 days of Christmas, or do you do it before? And also, you know, I've been seeing, I don't know about you, but earlier and earlier, more and more people putting their trees up in the middle of November. When is a good time? I know. It's all of these things that plague you, isn't it? Particularly when you take time off and you look around at other people's houses and think, wow, they look organised. They've got their cards up. I'm not alone, am I? <laughs> Back as ever to your breaking roll story of the day. As I said in the intro, this story is interesting because this was the moment that everybody sort of looked and thought, OK, this is the point where William and Catherine and Harry and Meghan seemingly are drawing a line under what battleground they had. This was, of course, prior to the now infamous Netflix documentary, the one that really exploded everything and they'd obviously been filming for over two and a half years. But what emerged was this, and according to a very good source, and as ever we have to say allegedly, there was a chance, a moment of reconciliation. And this really stemmed from, as ever, our beautiful Princess of Wales, Catherine, because she did extend the olive branch regarding her Christmas Together broadcast, the big event that's just enjoyed phenomenal ratings over here on British television. What a spectacular night it was, and I think it will become one of those annual events you know the things that we really enjoy every single Christmas I don't know about you I truly really did enjoy it but according to that good source it appears that Catherine did reach out particularly to Meghan and Harry and said you know you would be more than welcome to attend according to that good source and as ever allegedly we have to tell you that apparently, you know, both of them were rather stunned, but pleased and, you know, kind of thought, wow, how kind. Then when they returned back to the United States of America, according to that source, it emerged that basically they couldn't make it, but they could offer, guess what, a video contribution. Very clever, very shrewd, isn't it, when you think about it? Playing that in Westminster Abbey, making sure that you steal focus and on something that really is not about you or indeed about the British monarchy, but about being together at Christmas. As one can imagine, this left Catherine stunned, William incandescent with rage, and of course, a polite decline from all sides. But it just goes to show, doesn't it, really, how kind of strange Harry and Meghan are, as ever, allegedly. Because you sort of think that would have been a wonderful opportunity. But at that point, we have to say, could they have truly ever stopped that documentary? Seemingly not. And that's the seemingly the point why they knew that they couldn't return and sit next to some of their family members, of which they then burnt in that documentary. Either way, it does show one thing, though. What a wonderful, loving, kind and open minded person our brand new Princess of Wales, Catherine, truly is. Neil Sean, in the very heart of Yorkshire.